Hey everybody, Vance here from FishingWithVance.com. It's another snowy day outside. Let me just pan over here. Look at that. Look at the black taco out there. Yeah, you probably can't see that. But anyway, another snowy day here in PA. It's the end of February. So we're back in the garage again. And uh, today we're going to do an unboxing of this Gorilla Cart that I bought. Or actually, I got it for Christmas. And what we're going to use is this. This is going to be the Gorilla Cart Catfish. The Gorilla Catfish Carp cart um we fish in some areas for for carp and catfish that are i don't want to say they're off the beaten path but we can't put our trucks all the way down there close enough to the bank to bring all our gear and when i say gear um if you if you haven't seen some of our carp videos check it out but uh we have a good old time setting up a, a campsite on the on the uh, on the bank and we, we bring everything from a tent to chairs table to you know bait everything we bring half the world down there it's, it's quite quite a good time but anyway so i got the idea hey if we can't you know carry all this junk down there by the time we bring your poles and a tent and chairs and a table and all your bait and your tackle blah 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 all that then you know it's a lot to carry and usually you know I make the, the young gun catter do it all, and, you know, <laughs> one of these days he's not going to be with me, so then I'll, i got to do it myself. So if I'm fishing by myself, or it's just a couple of us, we wanted a cart, in other words. Sorry for all the talking, but anyway. So we're going to unbox this. I got this Gorilla cart for Christmas. We're going to unbox this thing, and then, of course, we're going to mod it. This is going to be Vance's Gorilla Carp Catfish Cart to haul our stuff. So stay tuned. We're going to mod this cart to bring to haul all kind of stuff down to the water's edge so we can catch some big cats and carp. Stay tuned today on FishingWithVance.com. All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode with FishingWithVance.com. Today, we're going to unbox and modify the Gorilla Utility Cart. And as you already know, Vance had to pick this up because he's a big time carp fisherman. And we got to take the whole entire world to uh, our fishing site whenever we are carp and cat fishing. So we needed something along this line to be able to haul all the stuff, keep it light, keep it mobile, be able to get it in and out of the truck. So this was the, uh, the perfect solution for that. It's a four cubic foot. This was purchased at Home Depot for about $129. So in staying the course with FishingWithVance.com, you know that we're going to mod this up, down, sideways, back, forth. All that different stuff because we do have a lot of uh, different items that we're going to have to haul in here. So we're going to have poles, you know, our 10 by 10 tent, um, every, everything else that we like to take along with us. So stay tuned. We're not exactly sure how we're going to do this. We're going to open this bad boy up, put it together, and then we're going to see what we can get into. So stay tuned here. Alright guys, so we got the basics of it unpacked, real easy peasy, nothing uh, exciting or anything like that, but it does come with this, the El Direcciones. We don't need these. Let's see if they work, D. Test them. <laughs> he was did a header into the garage. Success! I think it'll work. Hey everybody, so we ended up that, of course, we did follow the directions because they are important to follow. There's no more important step than the one that they outline here for you. Step number four. Once you put the wheels on, you want to make sure then that you flip that cart over. Just want to make sure everybody knew that. Wanted to share that with you guys. Pretty important step. All right, everybody. So checking back in here for our Gorilla utility cart. And obviously we've already started to mod this thing. So on this cart, we need to get about five or six poles from point A to point B. So we're going to do one of our standard PVC pole mods. So pretty simple here, nothing genius. Uh, we put the PVC on there. You got uh, some extra long zip ties. We put that down on there. That then actually does sit on there. This is good and sturdy. This ain't going anywhere. And then basically 
we're just going to take our handy dandy Dremel tool. We got our easy easy lock uh, cutting edge on there, and we just notch these out, similar to what we've done. Hopefully, you guys have seen those on the other videos. We played with this one a little bit. This has a, one of the OG rods on there, so it's a little bit wider. We didn't want those reels flopping all over the place, uh, similar to like what we had on the boat. Seeing that this is going to be used, uh, again, for transport, point A to point B, we wanted to try and shore that up a little bit so that they're not all over the place. So we'll work with this on the other ones that we're going to put on there. So stay tuned for that. But basically then our poles will all be out here. This is going to be on the outside of the cart. We don't have to worry about any of that. Again, then with the notch, reels on the outside, hooks and everything will all be up here out of the way so that they can't get snagged on the bags, um, the tent, the chairs, different things like that. So this is just the start of the mods. Stay tuned, my man. We got more to come. All right, everybody. This is a quick test of the Gorilla Utility Cart Catfishing Carp Cart Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, they flip around a little bit, but I don't think it's anything nah. you need to worry about. It'll be fine. We're yeah. not, uh... Yeah. That'll be good. Successful test. Everybody, welcome back here. So we got the Gorilla utility cart. We got it fully assembled here. It took roughly about 15 minutes for a two-man operation. Very simple, very easy. Uh, no issues with it whatsoever. The only thing I could tell you is that where the zero turn is down below, just make sure that you don't put that nut on there too tight or what we like to call Popeyeing, because then it takes away the zero turn ability. So you just want to make sure that you have it snug, but not over tight. So of course then, as we talked about before, we had to modify this out for the needs of fishingwithvance.com. So as you can see, we went ahead and we put our standard pole holders here on the side. Very simple. One foot piece of inch and a half PVC with some high quality zip ties here, two per uh, folder. And then that is gonna give us the ability to take six rods to the location and again, you know, we'll have various ones on here, catfish-based, carp-based, etc. Um, plenty of room in here for what we need to do for all the way up to four guys. So depending on the situation, sometimes Vance goes by himself. Sometimes there's a crew of two, crew of three, up to a crew of four. So we had to make sure then that we had enough uh, room in here to be able to put everything in. So some of the things that we like to take, obviously you got a pretty standard card table right here. More importantly, and what we forgot about a half a dozen times before, is the landing net. And when we say me, we, we mean Vance. Vance, Vance has forgotten the, the net <laughs> uh, however many times. We got this newer edition here. This is the, the GoPro tripod, so we're going to have this out this year. And uh, make sure that we take that with us. We have the rod holders here that hopefully you guys have seen the video for that. Very, uh, very key to making sure then that we can relax, hang out. Those pound right down on the ground, put your rod and reel in there, and then uh, those will be at the ready for us. A couple different bags here. So this is usually like a food bag. This is the bag then that will have all of the uh, necessary things that we need for carp and catfishing. Line. Um, uh, what else we got in there, Vance? Like Line, hair, hair rigs, hair scale. Rigs, yeah, scales, all those different things that we would need in there for the, the carp fishing adventure. You got your cooler, of course, so this will have a combination of a couple different products in it, depending on the day. This will have food, obviously, for us. Vance likes to make big batches of panko that you've seen on the other videos. Those go in there because he likes to have his panko nice and chilly whenever he works with it. He doesn't like warm panko, and he feels that it works better to, uh, to apply to the method feeders, but, and then also uh, the fish like it better as well. A couple of the other last things that are in here, it's going to be a little tough to see, but we have a couple of what we call beach chairs or these bag chairs. And again, depending on how many guys are going, we might have two, three, four chairs. And the nice thing about this setup right now is that as you get in here and you tweak this, 
We can obviously fit a couple more of those chairs in here. They don't present a lot of weight issues or anything like that. So we'll definitely be able to put those in there. The other thing then, especially if there's four of us, this is your standard 10 by 10 tent. Catter likes to take that and uh, you know enjoy himself underneath there. So we got a lot of stuff in this thing. It's not very big, again, four cubic feet, but this is gonna work great. Very light, uh, very easy to maneuver. Just give you a quick little glance of this. Again, obviously it's in the garage with the concrete. So this is gonna work great for what we wanna do. So uh, being able to get from point A to point B. So we're gonna have a couple follow-up vids with this and so make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. We'll show you how we get from A to B whenever we're doing our carp fishing and how that's gonna work. We'll show you then how this is gonna get loaded into the back of the truck and then also unloaded. So that's gonna be a whole nother set of videos and we gotta figure that out. We don't know that exact yet. And so we'll have to tweak that process, but stay tuned. We'll have more to come for you. I'm gonna go take this thing for a little spin down the driveway, out in the yard, run around a little bit. And we'll see how this thing works. All right, all, so we got the Gorilla utility card here. We got it all modded up as you've seen. We're gonna take this thing on its little maiden voyage here. Uh, obviously we realize that this isn't gonna be the real test with where we're going, much different, but driveway, we're gonna wheel it around out here in the yard and just see uh, what happens here. And uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna get too dukes of hazard with it or anything, but we'll see. Let's see how she goes, D. It's gonna be good when you go off my driveway to see you know, how it's gonna handle some bumps. So far, so good at it with pier. How, how heavy is it? Very light. Big bump going down to carp corner. Oh, no problem. You think we'll go carp fishing in the snow? One can only hope. <laughs> Look at those all terrain tires. This is by far the best footage we've ever done on fishing with Vance. I do hope my neighbors are watching right now. Please. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, it handles the terrain beautifully. Don't you think, D? I think it's going to work good. Now, the spot where we like to go does have a pretty good incline for a pretty good amount of time. We'll see how this is going to work there. It does have a little bit more weight to it, especially whenever you get off of the pavement, which was to be expected. But overall, here's what I know. This is way better than using a wheelbarrow and having to carry six poles in your hand and everything like that. So this is going to be great. Make sure that you stay tuned for these videos that are going to be upcoming here. Uh, we appreciate everybody taking the time, watching, hanging out with us. Let us know what you think. Leave some comments. And um, if you haven't, hit that like button. Make sure that you hit subscribe, all your friends and family. Hit the bell so that you get the notifications. We appreciate the time. Fishing with Vance. Dot com.